Okay, folks, this morning on our way down to Florida, we have stopped off in Commerce, Georgia. And this is a little place that we just discovered last year. Uh, didn't even know it existed. We always stop off exit 149 in Commerce, Georgia and eat lunch at Sonny's Barbecue. And we drove up a little past Sonny's uh, last year and found this neat little place here. So we're back again. I uh, just want to show you all this. Again, we've been coming through here for years and never knew it existed, but it's a little produce and bakery place. And they've got, if you like these old time places that sell the, the homemade breads and the uh, barbecue sauces and hundreds of other items, homemade pies, this is a place for you. Sell flowers, produce, and we, we're back here again today because we really like this place. So we're going to take you inside and show you around a little bit. As you first walk in, they've got different kinds of popcorn here and seasonings for your popcorn. And right there's a cheddar cheese powder. I got the last one, that's why it's empty. Got some of that last year and that's really good to sprinkle on popcorn or even to add to your uh, macaroni and cheese. If you make macaroni and cheese out of the box, sprinkle some of that in it and it gets it really cheesy. So again, this is a lot like some places you would find up in the mountains uh, in the Smoky Mountains too, but a uh, really neat place here. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. I got, show you this key lime pie here. It's a really good looking pie. We'll get one when we get to Florida though, but that's a really, you probably can't see it because of the glare, but it's got the lemon zest on the top of it. And um, got cakes. I'm getting me a small loaf of that peach bread. That, those are the big loaves there. They got apple bread, cinnamon pecan bread, blueberry bread. Strawberry donuts, those sound good. Apple cider donuts. And I'm getting me a small loaf of the peach bread here. Fudge. Got some garden seeds. It's maybe for a fall garden. It's a little late to start your spring garden now or hold on to them for next year. I don't know what this is. It is coconut cake, banana cake, peanut butter explosion cake. Four pack of fudge brownies. By the way, my wife found something at Hamrick's yesterday. It's really neat. When we make a pan of brownies, both of us like to have the end pieces. So she found a pan in Hamrick's yesterday that is, it's divided up into sections so that every time, every piece is an end piece, basically. So no more fighting in our house over brownies. So, preserves and jellies. I haven't even looked at the pan yet, but I guess it's like, uh, that pan, hey, that pan you bought yesterday at Hamrick's, what, um, what is it? You pour the brownie, yeah, the brownie mix in it and every piece is an end piece? Yeah, it's got, like, divider sections in it, so it makes 18 brownies and they all are in their own little yeah. So I might actually get to have an end piece like I like, because I always have to relent and give in. Nah, I don't. We, <laughs> we're pretty fair about that, but, uh, no more. Uh, arguing over that. What's Christmas jam? I don't know. That's what I was wondering too. They got all kinds of little. Strawberries, cranberries. Blackberry. Mm. Bear jam. They Dutch have... apple. Apple jelly. Look, they had cheeses over there. Mild garlic cheddar, dollar ninety nine. Let's see it. You getting that? Yeah. Okay. And then this one, don't say dollar nine, but it is smoked cheddar. Smoked cheddar sounds good. I love cheese. Okay. All things cheese. I love. Well, they got all kinds of stuff in here, folks. Look at all these jellies and jams here. Boysenberry, blueberry. Crab apple jelly. Candies. And again, every time I see these, I give my opinion. And they got them side by side too. These are the two worst candies ever been made. I don't know how they've survived all these decades. 
circus peanuts and those orange slices. So, the rest of them are all right. Got syrups, apple butter, blackberry, blueberry. Raspberry. What'd you say? Cinnamon apple. Does that not sound good right there? I thought sounds Cinnamon apple syrup. I don't even eat pancakes much, but that sounds how much is it? Five ninety nine? I might look at that here in a minute. Once I do my recording, I might get oh, there's peach. Maple praline. Who cares about that? Maple praline. <laughs> Maple praline, okay. Peach syrup with cinnamon. I could spend about a hundred dollars here if I Yeah. It looks full to me, yeah. I would just put it right in the Fried pies. It's not that far. As long as we all know, that's where it is. Got some pickled items here. Pickled okra. That's only I'll eat okra. Pickled beets. Pasta sauce. Jalapeno eggs. Pickles, sauerkraut, yeah. Pe vanilla peaches, that sounds really good. Yeah, Got dried uh, stuff here. Dried peaches. That's mango, cantaloupe. Dried or fried green beans. You're in the mood for that? I actually hadn't. Uh, oh, I gotta tell y'all something funny. I did this years ago to my wife. Wasabi peas. We were at the farmers market up in Asheville. Tell them about your experience with the wasabi peas. I think I told you they were lime flavored or I something. I remember what you said. The guy had samples out. Not there. There's a place like this that they had samples sitting out there. Like, Ooh, try one of these. Yeah, I told her that that was like the white stuff was yeah, sugar and they were lime flavor. And, oh, you ought to see her face. <laughs> That's been a long time. She's not trusted me since. Butter, looks like cheese curds, maybe. Jalapeno cheese curds, or jalapeno uh, cheddar. Got Cajun style bacon right here. Look at that. Yeah, that interesting. would be interesting. Cajun style Pepper. bacon. Pepper bacon. Sausages. Meat sticks for snacking on. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized place in here, but we, we found this place again last year, just by accident, did not know it was here. We stop every year and eat at Sunny's, and it's literally just around the bend, up, up on the left. If you get off exit uh, 149, off Interstate 85, um, you look for the Walmart on the hill, and Sunny's Barbecue right down below it, and just drive right up the, what, not even an eighth of a mile, line, yeah. There's seasonings, Vidalia onion salt. You're in Georgia, home of the Vidalia onion. Pineapple pepper glaze, what would you put that on? Where? Right there, pineapple pepper glaze. Sounds good. Yeah. Apple barbecue sauce, I love barbecue sauces like that. I like the ones up in the, uh, the Pepper Palace and the Smokies. They got a blackberry. Man, you talk about something good on ribs. That blackberry sauce is good on ribs. Um, you'd think they'd have a peach barbecue sauce here, would you not? Yeah, you would. I don't see one. I see apple. Peach pecan dressing. More honey. And over here is the produce market. We're not really going to be getting any fresh produce today since we're traveling. 
But if we lived here, we would be. What we got here? Red cayenne pepper. There's all kinds of spices and seasonings here. And again, the name of this place is Jay Moore Farms. All right, just want to show this to y'all. It's a neat, neat little roadside stop if you happen to be coming down Interstate 85. If you're coming from uh, South Carolina, coming from the north, you would get off the interstate at exit 149, turn left. If you're coming from the south, from Atlanta, you'd turn right off the, inter off the interstate exit. So, but anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed this little tour of this really neat little place here. Um, I could, if you give me a hundred dollar bill, I could have it long in 15 minutes in here because I like to get like barbecue sauces and spices and stuff for grilling. But anyway, all right, just finished paying. I noticed this on the way out the door. They're boiling peanuts. I didn't even see that before. All right, so let's tell what we got. We got several items, a lot more than I stopped to get, or than I thought <laughs> well, we would be getting. We got the getting. two cheeses that, um... Well, here's, here, use this cart right here. We got a couple of fried pies. They were only $1.99 a piece. Coconut, strawberry We each and got peach. a coconut cream, and uh, I got a peach bread, and I got a peach pie, and you got a, what was your other one, strawberry? Coconut strawberry. The of course, we got the cheeses. Uh, I, I look forward to getting them cheeses. And then you got your cheddar cheese powder. I got the last one of those, and our syrups. And then I she got, got a maple praline syrup, and I got a. Oh, I got your brown bag. Yeah, it's an apple cinnamon. Yeah. Yes, I get it out. So, all right. I think that's got everything. So, what do you think of Jay Moore Farms? I like it. I like the little store. Really neat store. So we're gonna. Um, go up to Walmart for a little bit until Sunny's opens up. But anyway, this is a neat little roadside stop, and I would encourage you to check them out if you're in this area. I think you'll be pleased with it. Um, all kinds of neat little stuff. I bet you won't be able to come in here and not find something you like and want to buy. So, did you see all the little bird houses? Bird houses? No, I did not. Where are they at? Oh yeah, down here. Bird houses. Like I can say they got just a little bit of everything. Little bales there, little um, decorative things. The name's slipping my mind at the moment. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to head on up to Walmart for a little bit. But again, J. Moore Farms in Commerce, Georgia, exit 149. So thank y'all for watching.